so I know we gon' win. This is for real, we never pretend. We gotta win, 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 win. All the World Cups pretty much you can see the board when you come like over the last jump around the last corner and when I looked up and it was green obviously I was happy but when I saw my time overall afterwards I, I didn't think it was going to hold and I was happy with how I rode but we're just a little bit off the pace. That was hard. That was one of the hardest things I've done. Cheers bro. It's only the other guys at the top that can do what they can do and I did what I could do and the tension's high, like the nerves are high, like, all just for that one three to five minute effort. It's all got to be perfect and the pressure you put on yourself is really quite high. Well this year I've been on the podium at every World Cup so that's been really cool. I've been the French national anthem at every World Cup and uh, they really enjoy singing it so yeah, I just stood there watching them they're having a good time and you're just standing there quite awkwardly. <laughs> so I did the podium and we pretty much left there straight away. Yeah, I'll get a shower, get packed up and get on the road. Now that with the racing being as fast and as professional and, and often as close as it is, you can't mess up on anything. So I used to go to the party after the race and stuff like that, but I'm not too bothered now, I have my circle of people and I'd much rather enjoy a pizza on the drive home than wake up on Monday morning with a stinking hangover, so... It's hot. I like what we do, I really do. I always do the driving myself, pretty much. After the race, it's like a bit of a reality check, you know. I remember a few years ago when I'd won some World Cups and two or three hours later I'm sat in my camper driving away to the next race and it's, it's a bit of a fall from grace, it's like quite an anti-climax. In Europe I travel from race to race using my camper van with my fiance Sophia and my mechanic Scott Mears. I use the camper van as my sort of hub at a World Cup. But I've spent most of my weekends in camper vans, you know. I've raced motocross when I was a little kid. We were away every weekend with that. Still got a few hours to go, not too far though. I have my own bed in the camper van. I have my, like, sort of my home comforts in when I'm at the race, so I really like Having the having the van here. I was rushing to get here because I wanted to get up here and do some runs, and I know I didn't have much time. So we drive into Morzine, and yeah, we got parked up, and then we went riding straight away. Met up with some friends. And I keep these front plates at home, so just right on the back of the results. It's nice, nice reminder at the end of the season to say how we're doing. like riding a lot of people don't want to see a bike for a couple of days after racing a World Cup but I just wanted to go and have a play with my friends on the trails. It's just really nice to be here, the atmosphere is nice, you're in a coast town and I used to come here on holiday. This was my summer holiday for years and years when I was younger and I was still at school. I think you give yourself a couple of days just to relax a little bit, try and Obviously not relax too much, you've still got to concentrate on your diet, on what preparation you may need to do, but at least that evening and into the next morning you just relax a little bit. So 
to be part of the Madison Saracen factory team is, it's been really good for me. Being on an English team, everybody gets on really well. We're going away racing and it's a good time, so everyone helps everybody. It's easy, there's no, no drama. We just have a good time and we're, we're riding bikes, you know, we're racing bikes for a living. Here is really good, we don't have any problems. God's been a good friend of mine for a lot of years now and I never thought he would be mechanic in for me. Travelling around the world, we are best friends pretty much, like he's the best man at my wedding so he's got my back, it's not like a job, it is a job but he's got passion for it as well because it's for me, just like I would if I was doing something for him and I couldn't ask for a better mechanic at the moment, well ever. I'll keep good traction on the front and the high speed grass stuff. Yeah. Um, what about rear pads? You have to keep on with the semi metallic ones we had last weekend. I think the bike is a big part when the racing is, is like it is. It's, you couldn't control the thing if it wasn't working right, and the tracks are fast, rough, and you need to have a bike that works well. Just doing a course walk, but usually we just do it to see which where it goes. It's really hard to pick a final line. You you like to have somewhere to shoot for though. <laughs> Only after someone else has done it. <laughs> I'm sure Bernard will do it first run. Don't look that. Don't look that way. <laughs> Racing last weekend, I think that's the best training we can do. It's serious, there's no messing anymore, you know, you can't leave any stone unturned. Coming into race day, the pressure is, I think I, I think I deal with it quite well. I know a lot of people fall. I think I channel that pressure and nerves into the right direction where some people just blow up. Like I've done well every every race this year and a lot of people would struggle to do that. I don't spew or anything like that. Once I get warm, get on the trainer and get my music on and get in the zone. Like I don't really say much to Scott, my mechanic. It's just, just do what you have to do. I sometimes sit there think when I'm warming up thinking, oh God, I, I could do without this in my life because the tension and the anxiety that's built up is really, is high. And But once you get out there and you're doing it, that all changes and you just ride in and just linking everything together and there's no better feeling. <laughs> 